A person with multiple sclerosis walks into a bar and a table and a chair and a wall. But this joke is more than just a punchline. It's a glimpse into the lives of people like me who live with multiple sclerosis. Or is it? Each day I navigate a world where my body can feel like a landmine, ready to trip at any moment. MS, the unwelcome guest in my body, has a knack of throwing my immune system into a frenzy, tangling the communication lines between my brain and my muscles, causing fatigue, weakness, brain fog. And some days, it's a three ring circus in here. And falls are my not so graceful signature move. But these challenges with MS do not dim my spirit. They motivate me never to give up, and they push me to think about what it means to move. Our society is obsessed with competition and measuring up to others. We need a broader definition of movement, and this begins with a mindset shift. Picture me as my youthful self. I was like the Tasmanian devil, a whirlwind of physical activity. The ultimate sports enthusiast. The kid in high school who played on every single team. Inactivity was like a foreign language and perpetual motion was my default setting. My mom always teased me saying the only time I sat still was when I was eating meals or at church. When it came time to pick a career, the choice was obvious. I wanted to be a high school physical education teacher and coach and inspire my students to embrace physical fitness and sports for a lifetime like I did. But destiny had chosen a different path for me. And the doctor's words hit hard. Patty, you have multiple sclerosis. And six years after I started the only job I ever wanted, my career that was grounded in physical activity was poof, gone. Now what? I went back to university for a PhD in teacher development and graduate school was way more than an education. It led me to a life changing discovery. Moving is not just about being physically active. During a class presentation, I was up there doing my thing when I felt this familiar buzz an echo of the energy surge I always felt when I was working out my muscles. And the light bulb moment hit later that day when I realized this buzz didn't come from moving because I stood in that one spot right there to give my presentation. The buzz came because my mind was engaged. I was moving in a mental way. I was moving my thoughts, my ideas, my passion. I was moving my mind. And it became apparent to me that using my body was not the only way to move. Thinking and communicating was another way for me to move. And uh, that, that was huge. That was huge for me. So MS stopped standing for multiple sclerosis. 
MS now stands for mindset shift. And like magic, moving forward took on a whole new meaning for me. I've connected with hundreds of women with multiple sclerosis around the world. And I listen to and I honor their stories. And then I gently redirect our conversation away from the I have MS and my life sucks narrative and towards a brighter horizon of an optimistic tomorrow. Let me tell you about Annika from Spain. Annika has MS. She found my website, got a hold of me on Messenger, and then we started talking. In our first conversation, she shared her excitement about getting an electric wheelchair. But in the same breath, expressed concern about using the chair in public. Before she could say another word, I said, stop. We need to talk about your mindset. And she came out just as quick, fighting. Patty, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that means. But what I do know is people are going to stare at me when I'm in that chair and they're going to try and figure out why I'm using it. And that makes me feel really uncomfortable. I said to her, OMG, Annika, having this chair is going to change your life. Think of all the places you can now go all the new places for you to explore. And she came back in double time. How do you write? Grand Casino Madrid, here I come. Ching, ching. So before our conversation, Annika saw the electric wheelchair as yet another barrier to her independence. But after we talked, it represented freedom. And that's a really great example of a mindset shift. The ripple effect of this broad definition of what it means to move has traversed continents. And it's not just for women with MS. It's for anybody who has difficulty moving. Cerebral palsy, a stroke, a car accident, arthritis, any reason. So the next time you see somebody struggling to move, please don't stare. Smile and say hello. That little act of kindness is going to brighten their day. But more importantly, more importantly, remind them that they are moving in ways, profound ways, that other people will never be able to see. It took me 10 years to get to this place where I recognize and value all the great ways that I move throughout the day. And I'd like you all to join me on that journey. Smile and say hello. Thank you.